I guess I'm as kind of introverted as any other artist, I feel like, but on another level, I really like to connect with people. And I think maybe that's why functional art kind of like fell into my lap a little bit. Hi, my name is Melody Monroe and this is Amazing Things. I have taken art classes since I was in elementary school and kind of continued with that throughout my education. And then in high school, I took the beginning art classes that are required for you to do like the other cooler ones like painting and pottery and all of that. And so that's what I did. I took a couple pottery classes in high school and fell in love with it right away. And then when I came to school here, I didn't know exactly that I was going to be an art major. I still thought that I needed to do something practical. I knew that this was kind of for me. So um, yeah, decided to major in it and it's probably the best thing that I've done. I guess the material just really drew me to it. The way that you can form it with your hands and you know, if you mess up, you can just like break it back down again and turn it back into usable clay, which I thought was really, really cool. Just the way that you can make something that someone will then use in their daily life was kind of like a romantic idea, I guess, that I was really drawn to. That's kind of why I fell in love with it. I like making stuff that, you know, makes a connection to someone else and I felt like clay was the, the right material to do that with. I have kind of jumped onto this bandwagon that's been happening in the ceramics community with making um, jewelry out of clay pieces. So right now I've got several different kind of aesthetics of work going on. I've, I'm working on some earrings right now that I have the posts glued to. Um, and I also have pieces that are waiting to go in the kiln for the second time. This is glaze that has not been fired, but it will end up looking like shiny like this. Like these blue pieces will end up like this one. Um, and then these, these pieces will be made into necklaces, that sort of thing, where they'll be like connected to each other. And same for these over here. I've got some necklace pieces going on, some earrings that don't have posts yet. Um, and then aside from all of that stuff, I kind of went a little crazier and I've got some um, brooches that I'm working on. So like these little guys will just be pieces that you can like put on a jacket. And then these are even more kind of complicated ones with uh, some little like mixed media pieces. So yeah, that's the project that been kind of exploring this semester. Normally I make functional work back there, but um, yeah, this has been really interesting so far. <laughs> Most difficult is probably working with these teeny tiny pieces of clay, because you have to like clean them up with a little sponge and sand them and try not to like drop them all over the floor is kind of difficult. Besides just their size, um, I'm having a hard time deciding what kind of like hardware and chains to use. So the finishing parts of it um, are also proving to be a little bit difficult. Like finding stuff that matches and that goes with the pieces that I've made. is not really something that I had thought about in the beginning, but now that I'm there, I'm like, what do I do? There is, there are a couple artists um, who make um, jewelry that I really love. One is, uh, her name's Sydney Ross. She's actually in Kansas City right now. Um, and she makes these great, really simple earrings, just rectangular shapes that have um, gold or silver luster on them, um, which is really beautiful. And so I kind of drew inspiration from her simple shapes. Um, like these longer bar pieces that I have over here are kind of um, drawn from her. And as far as these go, there's, there's an artist, I believe, I know her first name is April. I think her last name is pronounced Felipe, but I'm not sure. She makes these really large, crazy sculptures that have um, these beautifully drawn um, patterns on them. And they're all, they look kind of like they're melting off the wall and they're, they're, uh, they're really, really cool. And I enjoy them a lot. So that's kind of where I drew inspiration for these more drippy shapes. And then the line work I've kind of been playing with in my functional stuff for a while, so that's where that came from. I guess to me, functional art is 
again, something that, you know, people can take into their homes or their lives and use on a daily basis, whether that's drinking coffee out of a mug that someone's made or, you know, wearing a piece of jewelry that someone's created. Um, I guess functional art is like, you know, just makes a connection with someone. Um, it's a piece of art and it looks beautiful, but it also serves a purpose as well besides like, you know, being on a wall or on a shelf or something like that. As an artist, you kind of have to be willing to um, network with people and talk to other people and kind of like get to know them so that maybe they'll invite you to do something or go somewhere to showcase your art or um, kind of have to learn how to display yourself and your art in a way that is marketable, I guess. You have to learn how to like take pictures of your work that are really, <laughs> that are really nice so that you can then apply to shows and get your name out there. It's a lot of getting to know other people and putting yourself out there than I think I realized when I came in. I'd say to anybody who wants to be an artist and thinks that they can't or that it's impractical, um, I think they should just go for it. Yeah, because it, it pays off. <laughs>